Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is running now on Windows 11 build 26200.5551 in the dev channel. However, the changes that are available on this build are also available for devices enrolled in the beta channel with the release of the preview build 26120.3863. This update aims to keep improving the AI experience for Copilot Plus PCs and customizations for the widgets experience. Okay, let's dive into the new changes that we're going to see in the dev and beta channel for Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and related tech news. Now, first, let's look at the changes that Microsoft is including for the search box in the taskbar. So now this experience has been updated with semantic indexing that allows the system to use AI to search for settings. So you no longer have to remember a specific name for a specific configuration that you want to make. For example, if you want to change the theme on your computer, you can just type change my thing. And now in the results, you're going to see, you will see the option to go to the themes page. Now, let's say if you wanted to change the wallpaper, it will now detect that your intent is to change the background. So it will pop the page to change the desktop background. Now, as part of the uh, Windows Narrator experience, starting with this release on Copella Plus PCs, the system will be able to generate detailed image description using AI. So when using the narrator key plus control plus the keyboard shortcut, the feature will read out loud a contextual description of the image describing people, objects, colors, text, and numbers from the image, as you can see in this example. Microsoft is initially testing this feature for devices using the Snapdragon processor, but with support for AMD and Intel coming in the future. And of course, these are for Copala Plus PCs. Also in this release, Microsoft is updating the MSN fee so you can now read full length articles right from the widgets interface without having to jump into the web browser as you can see in this example another thing that microsoft is doing is to update the widgets experience for the lock screen so we had seen this feature that allows you to enable and disable and even control the widgets that appear on the desktop however now the company is also making changes to allow you to customize specific widgets microsoft is starting with the weather app and then it will continue adding customization options to other widgets however right now on the weather widget you will be able to change the temperature unit and edit the location setting as you can see right here in this example now and finally when you try to create a shortcut for a specific app microsoft is updating the icon so it will no longer include the backplate showing an accent background color and this will result on a larger and more visible icon and finally as part of this update the company is pushing some fixes for windows recall file explorer taskbar input and graphics as you can see right here on the screen and that's it those are the biggest changes that we're going to see on windows 11 bill 26200.5551 in the dev channel and for the Build 26120.3863 in the Veta channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these improvements. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.